Indiana Beach has officially been reopened. Unfortunately, I will not be able to go to the park this season, so I have been living through others, seeing their videos online and their posts, but I decided to go straight to the source, the Indiana Beach website. So I love Indiana Beach and was extremely excited to hear about its purchase and new owner. Um, I've been living vicariously online to see what is going on because unfortunately I am not able to be there right now. I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube about opening day and a couple of photos but I decided to go right to the source and decided to look at Indiana Beach's website. I know the new owner has been doing a wonderful job helping redo and refinish old aspects of Indiana Beach. But when I looked online, to say I was disappointed is an understatement. And because I redesigned things for fun, I decided to take a crack at it. First of all, I do really appreciate that they returned the old IB Crow because I did not like his 3D rendering. Um, but I really wish they would showcase more of Indiana Beach in aspects of its pictures. Uh, there's tons of graphic work on the site, but not enough to actually showcase what Indiana Beach really looks like. So I started by making a mood board, and I took tons of different signs from Indiana Beach and other small amusement parks. And then I try to find fonts that match that. And I took colors from those signs in different places around Indiana Beach to get both kind of a font family together and a color board. From there, I took a look at the site, how it is now, and kind of tried to reflect that, but put my own spin on it. So they really rely on the orange and deep blue color but when I think Indiana Beach, I just think the blue color from the signs that used to be up everywhere and the yellow around the IB Crow at the time. So I'm basing all of the website that I redesigned off of that color scheme. So on the main page, I went back to the old Indiana Beach logo, a sucker for the old lettering. My version is not as good as the original because I'm still getting used to my Wacom tablet, which is what I'm using to design all this on, so it's not the best. And then I really wanted to showcase how beautiful Indiana Beach really is, so put a picture in the background instead of just graphic work to really showcase what we're trying to sell. And I found a font that I really, really, really liked, and I kind of might have gone overboard with using it everywhere, but I really think it is a good example of kind of a theme park vibe, but like still being really crisp and easy to read. So I used that a lot on the titles, and, and for the information, I actually found a font that was similar, but not as much curly Q, so it's even easier to read in paragraph form. I also wasn't a fan of the drop-down menus that they had. I kind of like it more of a list form. That's how I am as a person. I make to-do lists for everything, so make it more list-like. And from there, I kind of just went and applied this concept or look to different aspects of the website, including this countdown timer, which is no longer valid uh, at all. I checked, it's not on there anymore, but too bad, I already designed it. I also redesigned the page which is home to all of the ride list. Um, there, again, there's a lacking of pictures, and I'm wondering if the lack of pictures is an IP problem, like they need new photographers out there that then those photos will be owned by the company rather than Apex. That's probably the issue at hand, so I hopefully they get some of those this season. Um, but just put pictures up, pictures everywhere. The showing is better than telling. I also saw that they're gonna be having a battle of the band, so I kind of applied all of this font and color scheme to a poster as well. 
So this isn't my typical video. I normally just look at parks and redesigning actual park aspects. I've never done a web page before, but hopefully you guys liked it. If you like this video, check out my other stuff. It's not exactly the same as I mentioned. Um, also, if you didn't like this, uh, well, don't worry about it. Most of my videos aren't like this. Um, also, if you have any Indiana Beach updates, please just drop a link below. I'd love to see anything that's going on in the park. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you later.